Hey guys, and it's Diwa the Clever here, and how y'all doing? Welcome back to another episode on European War 5. Today, we'll be hopefully completing the Alexandra Crusade campaign. So we're left with part 2 and part 3. So we'll start with part 2 right now. So in this mission, we'll be facing off the Persian Empire's forces. And we'll get 1,500 gold, 50 medals, 5 pearls, 5 perfume, and a cloth boot, which will give us plus 3 movement. And we'll only gain these rewards after we complete the mission with 3 stars. So we'll be auto-selecting our generals, as we only have 3 generals. So in this mission, we'll get 14 turns to complete this mission in 3 stars. So we'll try to aim for that one. So now we'll scan the map and see where our objective are. So we have one down south, which we have to destroy the castle. And we have one in the most eastern part of the map, where we have to destroy a second castle. So we'll be separating our army into two. After it destroys the unit, it can actually continue attacking or it can continue to move. After destroying the castle, we can now move our remaining forces that survived the attack to eastwards to destroy the second objective. Thank <laughs> you. 
mission under 14 tons which have granted us all the rewards. Now Sophia is saying that we can actually send heroes to complete tasks and collect prizes. So it will be the same as in World Conqueror 3 where we assign generals to complete a time mission which most likely will take slightly longer than an hour and it will actually reward us with sometimes wonders or just normal rewards such as school or literature. So if the general depends, if the general actually matches the requirement, like if we have an archer and the requirement are archers, then the time taken will be shorter. So in this case, they are looking for cannons, which we do not have. So no time is deducted. And now Sophia is saying that we can actually expand our empire by capturing cities. So the first city that we'll be capturing will be Brussels. We'll be auto assigning our armies again. So we have 20 turns to capture Brussels. And to capture a city, we well, every time have to destroy the castle of that city. As we are in the early eras, the castle walls and the building itself are all wood. But come the future progress eras, we will actually see the enemies having stone walls and stone castles. So it will be harder for us to break through unless we actually also upgrade our troops. We'll be making a run for the castle and we'll clear out any troop place in our way. the first mission. We are now go ahead and continue with our campaign missions. So at the top you can see that we have gained 15 stars which means we are awarded 50 extra medals. When we collect 30 stars we are actually gained 100 medals and 45 stars will grant us steel boots which are grant us plus 8 movement 
an evasion of 50 so this mission takes place sometime BC 328 and its expedition to India so now we have actually already conquered Persia and we are heading towards the Gagas Valley in India so in this mission we will gain 1500 gold 50 medals, 5 perfume and 5 pearls we will be auto assigning our army again so in this mission we will get 20 turns to complete it for 3 stars so now we will scan the map to find our target so it, down south there has to be a travel that we have to capture and on the eastern part of the map and the central we have barracks to capture and a castle to destroy and another travel that is behind the castle wall we will have to capture our army as you can see is separated into three parts so we have to go ahead and send them into the middle and one at the north to attack
now we'll be sending reinforcements down south to try to help capture the Chavan. Alexandra himself as our general. Now Anna is saying that we can actually gain princesses by winning their favors and the way to win their favors is by sending them gifts. So we have one in Paris right now. So by sending her 5 pearls, Maria has actually became our princess. So we shall now go ahead and see what Maria actually does as a princess. So Maria actually increases 20% tax revenue of a city. So that will come in useful. And so with that, it will be a great time to end the video now. And do tell me in the comments below on what you do think of this video and do start a chat in the comments. I'll be more than happy to engage you guys in the comments section below too. And as usual, don't forget to like, subscribe and share as it really means a lot to me and I'll actually really appreciate it a lot as it actually helps me out a lot. And as usual, thanks for watching and goodbye.